Hi, this is Russ Bell, and I've got a really important topic to talk to you guys today about, and that's going to be your data backup. Uh, if you have a Windows 2003 or 2008 server or small business server, then this video is definitely for you. One of the things I'm going to do, be able to do for you is come out and perform a 12-point risk analysis absolutely free as well as bring you an 8 gigabyte flash drive. More about that later. Let's talk about data backup in general. Most people believe that data backup is all they need to do to save their business in the event of a disaster, and they just back up the data. Companies like Carbonite and Mosey do things like this, and any remote backup company actually will, will do this. Very few will actually back up the image of your computer. So, what happens when your data is backed up and your, and your server crashes? Well, follow me through this situation. Your server just crashed. You're on the phone talking to your IT guy. Say, hey, my server crashed. What do we do? Well, it's messed up enough like the motherboard's all fried or something, so we've got to order a brand new computer. Well, how long is that going to take to come in from Dell? Days. Now you're down for days. A customer comes in, wants some information about their account. You can't give them the information because you're down. Do you lose the customer? Or are they going to be you know, agreeable to it and say, well, that's not a big deal. I understand computers are computers. Well, you might lose the customer, but you're down. Your workers are getting nothing accomplished. You're starting to see the pattern here. You're getting nothing done while the server's down. Now the server finally arrives magically from somewhere. You better know where your CDs were to get it reinstalled. You better know where your CDs were for your applications to get it reinstalled. You better know the configuration that you had configured for your server to get it reinstalled. If you don't know where your CDs are, you're going to be wasting time. If you don't know where your application CDs are, you're wasting time. And you're going to have to, like I say, remember your configuration that you had in place to get that machine back up and running. I mean, there's a lot to do here. It's not as simple as just restoring your data. Now, let's say you've got all that done. You've got their, their email all figured up again. All the, all the, all the users are reinstalled and ready to go. Now you, you uh, install your, your uh, recovery software. You do your data restore, and now you turn the machine over. Oh, my gosh, it's probably been a week or so that you've been down. What has that done to your business? If you're a company that does a um, million dollars in sales, just to use a round number annually, you're looking at $3,456 a day that that just cost you in lost sales, not to mention losing potentially a client, having your, your workers with nothing to do, sitting there twiddling their thumbs, you getting angry because your machine's not there. You talking to your IT guy, say, why isn't my machine up? And he said, well, I got the data. So we're done with that. The server arrives. You got the thing installed. You got it all restored. Wonderful news. But you've been down for two weeks. What happens if you uh, have a, a fire? The same thing. We're not going to go reiterate it again. The same thing happens with a fire. You've got to get a server replaced. Oh, man, think of the stress that's just happened here. We're going to be able to eliminate that. We have a solution where we will eliminate that and we'll all be able to breathe very, very easily. Let me give you a little bit of background on myself so you can understand that I know what I'm talking about. I have been uh, working with IT for over 30 years. I started when I was 14 years old with a Radio Shack TRS-80 microcomputer, if you remember those days, back in the 1978 time frame. So I aced all of my college courses in IT, I worked with the CIA for a while developing a data collections program. I worked with the Department of Defense, numerous Department of Defense agencies, Visa Corporation, Bell Atlantic. I mean, I have got a heck of a background, and I learned a lot about mission-critical applications and what that means to you. So let's go back to all this stress that we generated here with this computer being down, the server being down, and us trying to get it and take a deep breath. So let's say the server does crash, and you call Russ, and Russ says, okay, I'll get you back up in an hour. Let, let's repeat that. Your server crashed. Russ says he's going to get you back up in an hour. You're up and running in an hour. 
Now we calmly go get a new server from Dell. Dell says, hey, it's going to take two weeks for it to show up. We don't care. We're running. We don't care. It takes two weeks. It finally shows up. We don't need CDs, by the way. I don't need CDs. As soon as it shows up that night, we go take our box that it's running on, and we, take, we do what's called a bare metal restore to your brand new server, and you're up and running just like that. I mean, and then we put your server back into production, our box keeps doing a backup. Every 15 minutes, our box does a backup of your situation, so you will never lose any more than 15 minutes of data. What happens if there's a fire? Well, guess what? Our box is backing up to an off-site co-location facility, and all you'll lose is 24 hours worth of transactions, up to 24 hours worth of transactions. Hey, if you had a fire, you got more problems than losing up to 24 hours worth of transactions. So that box comes in. If you have a fire, you say, I want it priority overnight shipped to me. It shows up, and it's in your location, ready to go. And, and we take a couple of hours, and your, your whole operation is back up and running. Cost for this is ridiculously low compared to what it used to be with, like, say, the old companies, the bigger companies. For small businesses, the, con the, con the cost for this has come crashing down. Now, because I feel so passionate about this, that's why I'm going to come out and do a free IT risk assessment and bring you an 8 gigabyte flash drive. Let me tell you how you can connect with me. There's two ways to connect with Russ Bell. The other first way is to call that phone number, 281-475-9168. That is my cell phone. The second way to connect with me is to go to thebestgeeks.com forward slash disaster.php. Now you may be saying, Russ, I'm already at your website. Well, if you're already at my website, directly below where you clicked on this video, there is a sign-up sheet. So you can give me your name, email address, and phone number, and I will contact you. Looking forward to seeing you guys to help you save your business. Russ Bell, and have a great rest of the day.